Kept you waiting, huh? What's up? How we doing, everyone? Oh, pardon me. Burpy baby. Wow, I missed lots in the chat. Uh, crazy guy. Oh, dude. Uh, well, I do a good, but I'm freezing my ass off since the gas prices are higher than the college fresh. We're trying to impress the seniors. Uh, yeah, man, it's gonna suck. <laughs> this winter time is gonna suck because of uh, all that. Um, I hope, uh, try and stay warm, though. Do your best to try and stay warm. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I'm inside with a sweater and two blankets. It's just that cold. Um, it, yeah, it's really gonna suck. Like, I, I hate snow at the best of times. If it snows um, while all this, uh, uh, you know, energy prices and things happen, we, we can get snow around about February time. That's really going to suck if that's the case. Um, so, yeah, you, stay, you try and stay warm, crazy guy. Do your best, buddy. Do your best. I hope, uh, I hope it's not too much of uh, an issue for you. Uh, toothpicks, beard, salmon guy. How are you all? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, okay. That was a good break. That was a good break. I got some more squash. I'm really thirsty tonight. I don't know why. But uh, I got some more squash. And I got to stretch my legs as well. It's important to uh, have a stretch every once in a while. You know, get the blood flow moving. Uh, you don't want thrombosis. You do not want that shit. That shit is awful. And uh, also, as Rich Hu always says as well, uh, it also blood flow to the brain helps you uh, make decisions better and uh, and things. So it's good to get up once in a while, stretch the old bones, yeah. you know. Especially at my age. Camilla, are you now trying to show me where Bleak Falls Barrow is, or are you just going for a midnight stroll? Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right. Uh, let's check our... Uh, yeah, we're just hungry. Okay, we can deal with that. Uh, food. Um, I can't, I've been so excited about being able to eat raw meat, and it doesn't do much for your hunger, though. Uh, right, let's eat that hawker loaf. Uh, well-fed already. I went from hungry to well-fed. That's uh, unusual. Maybe, right, maybe this time round as well, Maybe we'll take the time to actually get into a bit of fishing. I'm going to take that. Maybe. Who knows? Because that was one of the um, things they made a big deal of with... Uh, give me that bee. I'll have that bee. Uh, they made a bee big deal out of the fishing when Anniversary ca uh, Edition came out, right? And since I've been playing on Anniversary Edition... Oh, Fendel, you can stay here as well, mate. I'm done with you. Uh, what have you got on you? Anything valuable? Uh, are you going to let me take your key? I tell you what, we'll respect his privacy, okay? Uh, it's time for us to part ways, dude. I'll head back home if you need me. Sure things. Pleasure, pleasure traveling with you, my good friend. My good man. Or elf. Good mer, I guess. Uh, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's, uh, make our way up to Whiterun now. Because, uh, Whiterun is going to be a really important, uh, place for us to go to. Ooh. Oh, how am I gonna how am I gonna get venison on this character? I'm gonna have to sneak up on things to Oh shit, that's gonna be an issue. Come here, dear. I want your meat. Uh he's already crossed the river. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Getting uh getting venison might be an issue. I just heard wolves. Where are the wolves? Where are they coming from? I swear I heard wolves. Maybe I'm hearing... Oh, yeah, they are. Fuck you. Give me a skin as well. Haven't I got wolf pelts on me? I think I have. I think I forgot to turn them into leather. Never mind. We'll be in White Run soon. The journey to White Run isn't a, a long one. So, my stamina is running out so quickly as well. I'm going to have to improve that quite a bit, I think. Oh, hello! These are all the Mary... These are Thalmor agents. Hello. How are we doing? I'm a cat. 
Oh, sorry, sorry, sir. I'll let you be. My bad. Is that Tundra Cotton? No, it's not. Remember, um, Tundra Cotton and Lavender are really plentiful around this area. And uh, they're really good for getting your alchemy up because they will make uh, a potion. Um, I forget what one. It's something to do with Magicka. But uh, we want to be picking up Lavender and Tundra Cotton whenever we see it because that's going to really help with uh, boosting our alchemy. Also, um, the faction that uh, is going to be really important to us because it's one of our goals. Um, uh, is going to be, uh, we're going to have our introduction to them now really soon. Because, uh, we only got so far with, uh, the companions. But, uh, with this character, I'm going to go and complete their, uh, quest line in, in its entirety. So, uh, here we are. If I can get a swing in. Oh, I can't. Now they're going to make fun of me now because I didn't join in the fight. Hello. Hello. That's taken care of. No thanks to you. Yo, you d I, yo, I, I couldn't get here in time. Okay, you killed it way too quick. So you didn't look like you needed help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. Uh, crazy guy. You could also pick up this uh, steed stone near Solitude, kind of northwest, which makes armor weigh nothing if you aren't wearing it, and you get. 100 plus 100 carry capacity Compa carry capacity sorry plus 50 on survival um i could solitude is like massively out of the way if i'm ever up in that area though um i'll definitely uh i'll definitely look into that uh what is a shield brother an outsider eh never heard of the companions an order of warriors we are brothers and sisters in honor and we show up to solve problems if the coin is... Correction, if you are wearing it. Okay. Uh, can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yorvaskar. Cool. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Cool. <clears throat> All right. I really uh, am needing to speak uh, to the companions and join them. I want to get that going in the right direction as soon as possible. Now, I saw... Where are they? I definitely saw... Aha! Leeks. Leeks are the best vegetable. Grab a bunch of them. I'm also going to take these cabbages as well. Because uh, no one minds. You know, you can even... Uh, even if you see the farmers who grew these crops. If you see them around, you can even offer to sell them back to them. Which is uh, always, I've always found that a little strange. Uh, that you can just go around taking these for free. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I just got a bunch of leeks for free. Um, which are, are amazing. Because leeks uh, are good for, uh, I believe, venison stew. Possibly vegetable stew as well. Spe vegetable soup as well. I'm not too sure about the uh, second one though. I'll have to, uh, I have to remind myself when I'm next at a cooking pot. But, uh, yeah, um, I'll take the cabbages as well. Why not? May as well. As long as I've got the carry weight, may as well take all of it. There we go. I'm chilly, apparently. Uh, there's those uh, good, uh, honest, hard-working Thalmor agents over there. Godspeed to you. Right, okay. Bit more lavender. Remember, lavender and cotton, uh, tundra cotton, or what, uh, are really good, are really good. Pick up as much of that as you can. I'm going the wrong way as well. This way is the entrance to uh, Whiterun. We want to pretty much um, try and complete all of Whiterun. Uh, all of the quests that we can get here, we want to get done. And uh, I really want to make a uh, way through the companion quest line as well. Hold on, bear with. Thank goodness, I did hit record. <laughs> That's good. Right. Who are these guys? Oh, they're the companions. Of course. Right, give me that lavender. Oh, before we go anywhere... Shit. I almost completely forgot. 
something very important before we actually enter white run something really important that we need to do and uh hopefully this uh hopefully this does trigger because i'm not sure what makes it trigger because uh, uh, I've I've been um, at this point in the game I've seen it not happen I certainly have, but uh, both of the characters we've run on stream we've been really lucky with this event happening. Maybe it is guaranteed. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I want to go and uh, my stamina is a real issue. I can't run much at all. I've leveled it up twice and it's still there. Uh, still like non-existent right I want to go across this bridge and follow the path more or less I'm sure most of you know what I'm referring to but uh, I want to go and see our good friend Cicero hopefully Cicero is there hopefully he's appeared with his uh, w uh, his wagon uh, that's lost a wheel or broken a wheel and hopefully we can uh, persuade uh, the guy to help him as well. Lots of lavender around here. If you're having that, thank you very much. I think we're a bit, um, a bit over, overly, uh, over on the uh, lavender. We need a bit more co uh, tundra cotton if we can find any. Ooh, leaks! Hell yes, take these. Leaks are the best. Yeah, it's gonna getting a hold of uh, venison is gonna be a real issue if we've got no way of um, of fighting at range. I guess we could buy it whenever we see it, but you know that that costs gold. And, uh, I only like to uh, spend gold on on really good stuff. I guess venison's really good, so. I guess we can make an exception there. Uh, I will... I'll take that. I'll take that sell. Potatoes I'll take. Green apples? Hell no. Hell no we're not taking any green apples. Right, okay, cool. More lavender again. I need the tundra cotton. Uh, you aren't selling them. The farmers are paying you for harvesting the crops. All right, good. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that works. Ooh! Speaking of venison, come back here! Dang it. Oh, I should have kept running. Hello! Haha, -ha, you're stuck. Oh, my stamina. Get back here. Damn it! They got away. Ugh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Uh, I'm going to take these leaks as well. Cool. I'd rather have this place as player housing than um, Breeze Home, if I'm honest with you. But it is a tad more expensive. Uh, I don't know whether it'd be worthwhile w holding off until we can afford it. Or buying Breeze Home just straight away. I'll have a think about that. Right, if I follow this path... Uh, I know, I know about the world map. If I keep following this path, I should run into Cicero, right? Hopefully. Unless he hasn't spawned. Ooh, lots of ton tundra cotton. That's good. Lots more. Because, uh, where's the... There's a place near him... Where you have to go to ask the guy to help him out. Uh, I'm a little concerned that he's not going to be here. I think we've gone a little too far. Oh, maybe that's the place up ahead. Give me that tundra cotton. Hell yeah. All right. Please be there, Cicero. Oh, is that him? That might be him there. I think I could just about see him off in the distance. Yep, here he is. Okay, he's uh, he's appeared. That's good. We will want to talk to Cicero. Um, especially if we're going to um, 
maybe attempt to do the Dark Brotherhood quest line later on. At the moment, a main priority is the Companions and uh, Dawn Guard. Now, this guy's not the sharpest fruit in the bowl, but I do like Cicero. Cicero's cool. Problem? Taking mother to a new home, a new crypt, but ah, wagon wheel, <laughs> damnedest wagon wheel. It I like Cicero. Cicero's see? cool. Like I say, he's not the sharpest uh, fruit in the bowl, but I do like him. Is there some way I can help? Oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me, but he won't. He refuses. Ah, convince Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin, gleamy, shiny coin. Woo! Okay, and we get money as well, as well as helping Cicero. Right, give me all this uh, tundra cotton. Right, let me check my uh, quest log a minute. Make sure everything's active. It is. Okay, cool. Right, now we got to go and speak to uh, Lorius. Uh, give me that butterfly as well. Right, I think he's up here. I'm pretty sure. There's a quest marker up here, so he must be up here. Oh, he's got a bunch of uh, food growing as well. And wheat. Wheat is... Uh, one ingredient you can use for health potions, so I'll be taking all the wheat. Um, what's he got in his barrels? And chicken eggs. Flour, no good. Okay. Uh, jump over. You're a cat! Why can't you jump up? There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Jump back. And uh, a bunch of leeks as well. I really need a house. <laughs> I'm really going to need a house so I can store all, everything that I'm picking up here. Like, a lot of my, a lot of my carry weight is going to be leaks right now. It's, it's fine, though. It's fine. Um, I think I think it'll be better to buy Breeze home first, just so at least we've got a house. You know? I'll take them. Right. Uh, I can go inside. Great. Laureus! Which one of you is Laureus? You! Oh, for the love of... What happened on his table? All of his stuff on his table just flew everywhere. Uh, the um, little man really needs your help with his wagon. That Cicero fella? Huh. Yep, Tell me something guy. I don't know. Crazy fools already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Physics in Bethesda games can be funny at times. Uh, so what's the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? <coughs> completely out of his head. Excuse me. A jester here in Skyrim. Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some... Merry man? Box. Says it's a coffin. And he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Um... He's a stranger who needs assistance. Please do the right thing. What? And just who in Mara's name? Peckish. Anyway, hmm? come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? Right. Hopefully this works. I haven't failed it yet, so fingers crossed. Yay! Oh, I, I. Yes, you're right. You're right. And our speech goes up a little as well. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Awesome. All right, cool. Let's go back to Cicero. And then uh, as soon as we've done, we're done with this, then we can go uh, head into Whiterun proper. Oh, lavender. Nice.
Uh, where is he? Where's Cicero gone? Also more lavender. Oh, and even more lavender. Uh, have I gone past him? I see a wolf. Oh, I've gone miles past him. Right, at least there's a wolf. Fuck you, wolf. Wolf had some gold on him. I'm not sure why a wolf would need gold, but there we are. Cicero! Oh god, my stamina is awful. I'd have to sort that out as soon as possible. Tundra cotton, nice. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of potions uh, with uh, with those. My alchemy should go up quite a bit. And hopefully we can get a level as well. Poor soon. Mother. Home seems so very far. I talked to Laureus, he's agreed to fix your wagon wheel. You you did? He's gonna yes. give me some money as well. Worth doing just for oh, that, because uh, right now we're saving for a house. You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more. My mother thanks you. Here, here How much money do we get? Shiny, <laughs> I love Cicero. Cicero's cool. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> how much money? Did I miss how much money he gave us? Oh, well. I'm sure it was a decent amount. Oh, 250. Nice. All right, the white run. And Tundra Cotton. There we go. Our supplies of both should have evened out a little bit now, I, uh, I'm guessing. Especially with these bits here. Okay. A bit more. Nice. And I have so much to make po potions with. Oh, look at all those butterflies, grab them all, hey, come here, here butterfly, and you, don't think you're getting away, I definitely saw a third one, is he too high up, ha, I missed, got him, cool, alright, all good, uh, all good for my alchemy, my alchemy skill, I want that going up in the right direction, What is Soul Trap connected to? Soul Trap's, um, there's a standing stone over there. What standing stone is over there? Let me go and check. It can't be too far away. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, Soul Trap. Is Soul Trap connected to, um, Conjuration, right? Give me that B. Oh, look at all these ingredients. Good stuff. Ah, I see why. There's a beehive here. I'm going to take it all. All mine. I think bees are good for stamina potions. If I'm not mistaken. Give me that butterfly as well. I don't know. It's been a while since we used um, alchemy. So I forget. Oh, I know what standing stone that is. Okay, we'll get that later. It's not important right now. That's the one uh, where you pick up the spell tomb for ghost friend I got a little bit discombobulated as to where I was I thought I, I didn't think I was where I was but uh, I know what that standing stone is I don't know I can't remember which one it is or what it does it's um I'm sure it's connected to like maybe necromancy I can't remember for sure but it's definitely the one where you fight, um, you do fight necromancers there, and uh, it's where you pick up uh, Ghost Friend as a spell. Uh, soul, soul Trap is Conjuring. I uh, once made Hades my Conjuring only challenge build using the uh, spirits of Beyond to attack and defend. Yeah, I thought it was attached to Conjuration. That's fine. We can. Um, if we can find uh, Soul Trap as a spell, that's the only way we're going to be able to fill Soul Gems. 
And I do, I do want, I do want enchanting. I do really want enchanting because uh, we can make some really OP gear uh, with both smithing and enchanting. I hear, uh, I think I just heard some wolves. I think. Pretty sure I did. Never mind. They're only wolves. If they show up, I'll just punch them in the face. And also take their skin. Because uh, that's good for uh, smithing, right? Come here, stupid butterflies. Did I get him? Uh, I'm not sure, but never mind either way. Hopefully I did. Right. And what, what negative effects am I under right now? Packish. I can sort that out. That's fine. Eat that. What does that do? Nothing. Satisfied? I want to be well fed. Right, I'm running out of food. I'm running out of food really quickly. But uh, we'll be in White Run proper very shortly, so we can sort out all of that when we get there. Hopefully everything will be open. Because uh, I would like to uh, pay a visit to all the shops. There's also um, an arcane enchanting table in Dragon's Reach. So uh, we can break down some stuff there as well. I've already got like the novice robes and hood. But uh, that'll be fine. We can break them down either way. It's, uh, i got to look in uh, Balathor's shop for a particularly important uh, item of gear as well. Not one that we're going to use right away, but the enchantment's going to be really, really vital to us. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Stone is ritual. Once per day you can revive all dead bodies in radius. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought it was something like that. I couldn't remember for sure, though. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on is it because I'm a cat? Is that why you're going to be keeping an eye on me? I mean... Cats can be pretty shifty, I guess. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask your little gray mane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Let's make some leather while we're uh, while we're waiting for them to have their conversation. I'm drained. Don't expect a miracle. Hello. Got some good pieces out here. If you look. Uh, can you tell me about White Run? Hmm. Plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Actually, Their yes. Yes, I am. And valor are legendary. Uh, do you work the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my... Ah, that's what sword. I was looking for. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. I'll do it. Thanks. Okay. Um, what have you got for sale? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. First of all, what can I sell to you? Uh, nothing by the looks of things. Dang. Um, okay, do you... Do I buy iron ingots now? Hmm. No, let's hold fire. Let's not... Let's not spend any money just yet. Because uh, I want to be making money, if anything. Uh, I should be able to smith a bit of stuff. Uh, what can we make this the most expensive thing that we can? Um, we could make... We're 35. 
Can make a leather scout helmet. It's better than nothing. Right. Uh, make one leather strips. And then, uh, make the scout helmet. And we'll sell that immediately. Uh, I think that's all we can do right now. Hello there. I don't claim to be. Take a look. Uh, right, buy what I just made. There we go. Coolio. I can say, uh, bit of money's better than no money. Right, more tundra cotton. <clears throat> I work for right, I'm gonna have to have a f couple of conversations around here. A oh, great, it's Nazim. Fuck you, Nazim. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. You're looking to become a merchant. Before my ma and da passed, I told them that one day I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Maybe I can help you. You do that? If you find oh, what I Nazim. Can thing or two about trading, how rude! Hope you get a fair bargain in the future. Cool. All right. Now I want to speak to this fine lady. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me, but that bard is the worst. Someone giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat. The way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. Charming. Uh, what if I talk to Mikhail? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Awesome. Right. Remember. Uh, let's uh, activate a few things that we just picked up as well. Um, Belathor. My good man. Uh, hopefully you have something in stock, which I'm after. Give a hop. What have you got for, for sale, sale, dude? Trinkets, odds and ends. Right, that apparel. Um, ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna need a backpack at some point, right? Uh, that's probably gonna be the best one for me as well, if that increases my stamina. Some of, a lot of them are magic-based and things like archery as well. Um, please have what I'm actually looking for, though. Oh, I don't think you do. I was hoping to buy some pugilist gloves from him. He sometimes has them in stock. What's this one? Just carry capacity. Dang. Okay. Um, all right. Maybe he'll get them in at a later time. I was really hoping for some in his inventory, though, early on. Um, I might buy, not that one. Which one was I looking at? I might buy this. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. That's, uh, that's going to be really good for me. Um, yeah, he doesn't have any pugilist gloves, though, unfortunately. Uh, what books do you have? Target one flee for 60 seconds to get some extra health and stamina. Do I want that? Doesn't sound very good. Uh, what can I sell to this guy? Um, do I, I won't sell potions. We'll sell potions to the alchemist. Um, dang, I don't have anything to sell. All right, fine. Right, um, apparel. Let's put that backpack on. Now we've got some extra carry weight as well, which is always nice. Uh, more spoony buds being rude dudes. <laughs> yes, lizard. What is it with these spoony buds? Oh, hold on. Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side and he chose This uh this conversation is important. We want to speak to her in just a second. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborn, where is he? Where are you holding my four hours? Make it quick, and there might be a bowl of hot. Do you believe this? While I'm waiting, 
Let's eat a bunch of ingredients. Uh, B. Butterfly wing. Uh, eat one of them. Eat that. There we go. Old hag. Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. Tired of He's soup. my prisoner. Had of fish and fowl. Face you treat yourself and your kid. Your stupid son cut is dead. Dead. Or tender rack He died a storm cloaked traitor. And you, you Still best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. How rude. Anyway, you there, lady. What was that all about? All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. I'm sure they would love to trade him. Those battle born. They're in with the Imperials. They know it too. And yet they lie to my very face. How do you know they're lying? It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Okay, cool. Um, I just had a thought as well, halfway through uh, that conversation that they were having. Where we support the Imperials. And we support the uh, Aldermary Dominion because we're a Khajiit. Khajiit's uh, a part of the Aldermary Dominion. Oh, piss off, Nazim. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Oh, God. Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill him at some point, I think. I think I am. You there! You can give me a quest as well. It's a shame, isn't it? Tell me about this tree! This is the Gilder Green. It was planted as a seedling in the early years of White Run. Disciples of Kinaret could send something home. We'll figure out a way and we'll get Nazim and no one will know about it. We'll eat him or they something. Built the temple. Of course. Not as many pilgrims these days. Uh, what's so special about this tree? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Where is the tree? If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Right, okay. Um, that's uh, another quest. Uh, we want to speak to this fine gentleman here as well. But we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's den. I can't stop now. And I can't get the <coughs> You're willing to stop. Pardon me, sorry. Right, you. So, you tried mercenary work? What were you two arguing about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Uh, do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but... If you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Sure. Cool. There's another uh, another miscellaneous quest there. Now, where'd that old lady go? Oh, Tundra Cotton. Um, here. Here we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Averstein, put that down. I'm just a cat. He's here to help Don't mind me. How do we know he's not spying for the battleborn? This was foolish. 
Do not hurt the tree. You can pray at the tree after you use the knife to get to it. Really? That way you can still get the sap without hurting the tree. Really? I didn't I never knew that. What can I do for you, friend? So, you're here to help? Uh, yes, absolutely. What can I do? I know that Thorald's not dead. I just know it. The Imperials have him and are keeping him somewhere. But I don't know where. Those damned Battleborns, they know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. There's gotta be something in that house of theirs. I just know it. I don't dare leave the house myself. So I need your help. What sort of proof do you need? Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Why do you think the Battleborns are involved? The Battleborns. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Cool. Alright. No worries. I'll have a look. Right. Okay, where to next? Oh shit, dude, you're meant to be hiding. You better get back inside. <laughs> I forgot that, like, if you leave, uh, if you go through a load zone mid-conversation when an NPC's... You don't even have to be engaged in conversation with them. Yes. Even if they're just talking to you or talking at you at, in passing. They'll come through the load zone with you. It's really funny. Well, it was really funny in that instance, anyway. Right, uh, Arcadia's Cauldron. Um, I'm going to make a bunch of potions here uh, in hopes that my alchemy will fly up and also um, my level, hopefully. I think we're really close to leveling at this point. Now, uh, I'll eat one of them. Um, we, yeah, we don't have... Oh, I think I saw an ingredient there that we haven't eaten yet. Yeah, let's eat that. Okay, uh, let's make a bunch of potions. Even if uh, they're not useful to us, we'll just sell them straight away. So, restore health. Uh, should I put anything else with it as well? Ingredients. Uh, let's try... Mm, I wish I told you um, the effects that you already know in this menu. I might try garlic. Or let's try B. Let's try B. See what that does. Nothing? Okay. Uh, let's try garlic then. Nothing with garlic either. Um, chicken's egg? Oh, damaged stamina. I'm going to take that off. Um, <clears throat> pardon me, sorry. Salt? Nothing there. What about blue butterfly wing? Oh, nothing there. Okay, just keep going with those two. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> resist magic. Try all of these. Make a bunch of these. Oh, look at our alchemy fly up. Come on, give me a level. Yes! Okay, uh, we will make some damage stamina as well, even though it's poison. Fortify conjuration. We'll just sell all the rubbish back to uh, Arcadia now in a second. Uh, make a bit of money uh, at the same time while we're at it. Um, you there? Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? Don't worry about that. Um, she'll say that you look so ill, you even if you haven't picked up a disease. Radiant? I think she's at it. I think she's trying to con you into buying some remedy for it. Um, right. Poison of damage magicka region. That can go. Oh, she's going to run out of money really quick, though. Uh, even if we didn't level from uh, all that alchemy. Um, we just got our speech up, which would have done it. Uh, yeah. 
sell all the poisons. Uh, minor magic, minor stamina, pickpocket in, resist cold. Uh, I could probably do with <laughs> that's um, that's a lot of resist magicka. The three percent, it's not very good. But um, how much? How much money? Shit, she can't afford all of it. Resist poison, okay. Store health. Potion of the night. Oh, that's good. That's actually useful. Right. Uh, let's take the rest of her money off her at least. Uh, maybe I could trade out for some stuff that she's got on for sale. Right. Sell them for now. Wow, I've still got 24. Take a look. Have you got anything useful? Potions. Um... Hmm. Cure disease. I'm going to pick all of these up just because I've got no disease protection yet. Hopefully I will get some. Uh, we didn't actually pick any up um, on our last character, unfortunately. Um, and what we'll do then, we'll just sell her the rest of these potions. Hopefully she's got enough money. Shit, I, that actually was a lot of money that I just spent. Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll get some back. Um, that is fine for now. Fortify carry weight potion. Okay. Alright, cool. We'll be coming back to see Arcadia late, in, in a short while. Uh, because, um, uh, the court wizard, he will ask us to deliver some frost salts to her. And then after doing that, we'll get a bunch of free stuff in uh, her shop as well. Which is always nice. Oh, did you need something? Nope, I'm good, thank you. You there! If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. You need to leave Carlotta alone, my good man. Carlotta put you in didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. This guy's creepy. Um, on this occasion, I really um every other time I've done this, I've wanted the persuasion to work. Uh, because you end up in a uh, brawl with this guy. On this occasion, I'm not worried at all. Because uh, if he wants to brawl, I'm going to fuck him right up. Right, she's not yours. Stop this nonsense. What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. Oh, dude. Dude. You do not want to brawl with me, dude. You do not want to brawl with me. But let's go. Leave her alone or else. I don't have to take that from you. You're going to regret this, buddy. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Three swings. Three punches and he's down. That was the quickest brawl I've ever had. That's even without fists of steel. That's so funny. Yeah, I do know how to throw a punch. Uh, game. You leave Carlotta alone or this gets worse. <laughs> this guy kind of just carries on playing his drum. Sp spoony bird. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, one tamed mountain goat. That's Hilda. Able to carry a hefty amount of weight to the th Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, we're going to pick her up. Um, or maybe we'll go with a different pet this time. Um, because we went with Hilda last time. If it's working... I enjoy this work well enough. Heard any rumors lately? People say there is someone in Riften that Okay, we got the face uh, sculptor. Face. Uh, give me the latest gossip. The companions in okay, cool. Uh, and there are any problems around town that need handling? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Cool. Uh, why am I not why am I not talking to her? What can I get you? Uh, oh, that appears to be it. Right, I'm actually going to buy some food from you as well because uh, we are running seriously low. I'll take two apple pies, uh, cooked beef. Uh, what else do we want? Raw, raw beef? Do we want raw beef? We don't want raw beef. Some mistakes I'll take. <gasps> venison. I'm going to buy her venison. Because that's going to be really tough to get hold of any other way. Um, nothing to sell to you. Oh, I got some wine. Buy some wine off me. Okay, cool. And then finally, I just need to uh, rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. 
No, take Hilda. Goat is best. I know, I know. I was just thinking, just to mix it up. Hilda is the best. But we used her last time. Like, a lot. But she is the best. Uh, she's... I've not seen any of the pets that will take the um, the pack either. That they wear. That you can buy to put on them. So maybe she's the only one who can uh, equip that. I don't know. But Hilda is best, I agree. Maybe we'll go and pick her up. She's not too far away either. Which is a good thing. Oh, we leveled, right? I forgot about the level. I didn't plan for it. Right, let's go... Um, Let's go all in in stamina for the time being. Okay, we're going to pick stamina again for now. Um, what do we want? I guess now we want steel smithing, right? Can use up those um, um, those steel ingots that I've got on me. Because uh, we need our heavy armor at 30 before we can get a useful perk there. Let me know if there's anything else you need. There is one other thing in this tavern. Oh. That I want to pick up now, which is this. Uh, I'm sure Ah has a secret. Not a bad secret, like the Battleborn secret affair. Not a boring secret, like the shopkeeper who hates his sister. Mshara. <laughs> That's uh, Balathor, right? Because he always jokes about selling his sister. Mshara's secret is too good to be believed. Mshara did not always spend her days like this. A cat who pretend. A cat, huh? Uh, pretends to be a dog? No. Mshara used to be a bandit warrior, a member of the Crimson Dirks, famous rogues wanted by the East Empire Company, the clan mothers of elsewhere, and law uh, bringers from here to Somerset Isles. If the guards only knew, they would come kill me, kill her. That is why Mshara can never tell. But her time is short. She longs for company. The other day, she took to begging outside the city and saw her little mate, uh, Zaharia. Uh, walk through the gates. M. Shahara called her by name, but the Red Guard ignored her. M. Shahara is sure she heard her, and it made her sad to know this. M. Shahara does not want to die a, a, a rug. <laughs> Perhaps she will do something mischievous and get the White Ring Guards to attack. Then she will be a warrior once more. Okay, that actually activates something. Cats away. Inspect Dragon Reach, reach Dungeons for clues on M. Shahara. And also, uh, just activate that as well, just so that active okay what can we cook right now is there anything we can cook that's useful i know we haven't used the cooking pot yet that's mad right i should definitely be able to cook some venison stew right actually should i wait i'll wait until i've got um i'll wait until i've got some you want a drink no thanks it's fine uh i'll wait until i've picked up some fire salts um i'll should have checked if uh, Arcadia's got any. I'm going to go and check that now. Because Arcadia's cauldron's right here. Is she closed? Did I just break into her house? No, because I would have had to pick the lock, right? Where is she? Oh, you. Are you open? Please have fire salt. Please. You have one. Okay, that's fine. I'll take one. I'll take one fire salt. Right. Okay. Now let's go and uh, let's go and cook uh, a hot meal with this fire salt. I'll refrain from making anything else though, uh, just in case we can get hold of any more uh, fire salts soon. Okay. So let's make some hot. Um, venison stew? Which one's best? Oh, they're both exactly the same. In terms of what they do uh, beneficially. Venison stew takes less ingredients, though. So I'm going to make one of them. And then I'm going to make a bunch of uh, venison stew on top of that. Oh, just the one, I guess, because we've only got one venison. And then I'll uh, wait to make anything else uh, in case I get... Stop bothering me. All right, uh, and what was I saying? Yeah, I'll wait and see if I can get some more fire salts before I do any more cooking. Because um, hot food is really good for uh, cold temperatures. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's... Fire salts are not rare, but they're not, 
like they're not easy to come by let's say right um right to the companions next so i want to join them Ah, fisty cuffs. Come on. Okay. Uh, you there, Skewer. What is it? Uh, can I join the companions? Do you think you have what it takes? I do. Lucky for you. I could beat up both of them over there. Talk to Codlack. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. Cool. All right. Right. Let's go see Codlack. We got involved in the with the companions really, uh, really early on, so we wanted uh, we want to get through this. Well, what the fuck? Did that weird thing where like because there was an event happening because I came through the door, it all followed me through. Like uh, when you're in conversations with NPCs, maybe. Hi, Codlack. A stranger comes to our hall. I would like to join the companions. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. I'm a cat. Last I checked, we had some empty beds in your Vasker for those with a fire. What, what in their effect hearts. am I under right now? Look at my stamina. I'm probably hungry, right? I don't think I ate after uh, sleeping. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? Uh, I can handle myself. That may be so. I'm a cat. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take him out to the... Alright, what, what effect am I in there right now? Hunger! Okay, cool. Peckish? Peckish is doing all that damage to my stamina. Right, I need some cooked beef. I'm well fed. Okay, cool. Yeah, it did. Jesus, that was that was harsh. It was a harsh punishment. Right. Okay. Cool. All right, we're uh, getting in with the companions now. Hey, how long were you standing there for? All these younglings scampering around. Worried one of them is going to take your place. Hopefully, this um. This doesn't glitch, because uh, the very first time we tried this, um, they all turned hostile, and they all murdered me. I don't know why, but um, it should be fine. It went fine, it went okay the last time we did this. Your Veska here as well, this mead hall where the companions live, it's an overturned boat. If you see there, the roof. That's the boat uh, in which Iskramor came over to Skyrim with the first, uh, the first companions. Right, you. The old man said to have a look at you, so let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. All right, if you so say so. Here. There you go. One more. I don't know. Not that. Next time won't be so easy. <laughs> you might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorlin to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Cool. All right. Let's go and see Yorlin. Uh, he is up on the Skyforge there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make Skyforge steel. I've got some, um, I've got some uh, steel ingots, right? Hopefully. Hey there. What brings you here? Vickers sent me with his sword. Oh, Vilka, sorry. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. Uh, I'm just doing what I'm asked. Uh, does uh, does Vilkas always send newcomers on errands? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about. Don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the companions. Cool. Are you a companion? Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. I like Eorlin. He's cool. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge. Best steel in all of Skyrim. All of Tamriel. 
la, la, la. I need to be going. I have a favor to ask. What is it? I've been working on a shield for Ayala. My wife is in mourning and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Ayala for me. Sure. I'm happy to lend a hand. That's a good man. Cool. Alright, let's go and see Ayla next. She be inside. Yeah. Um, we get free, we get free, um, housing here, right? We don't get any storage, I don't think. Uh, so we don't get anywhere to store anything, but we get a free bed. As soon as we're part of the companions. So that could be, uh, that could be useful. Right, so let's speak to Ayla real quick. Hello. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Cool. I have your shield. Good, I've been waiting for this. Wait, I remember you. So the old man thinks you've got some heart, I guess. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite the thrashing. Don't let Vilkis... I think this girl likes me. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Um... I mean, I did quite a lot of damage to him when he was blocking. Uh, I don't care for boasting. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Isgrimor himself Farkas. wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Did you call me? Mm-hmm. Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the world sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. Cool. Are you prepared for tonight's hunt? I've been and we get our first job from this guy now. I think this could be, um, I think this is random where it can be. I'm hoping it's going to be somewhere really close. Because, um, we got our, we got given a job by the companions with our Dark Elf character that we, uh, played as last. And it sent us to Dawnstar. And I did never one step foot in Dawnstar with, uh, that character. So let's hope we get um, a job that's more closer. I, th I think actually it might have been the second job that they gave us. Pardon me. Cool. Good luck. Welcome to the companions. Cool. We're in the companions now. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here in White Run Hold. Nothing we can't handle. What kind of trouble should I expect? Bloodsuckers, vampires. Oh, okay. I think it's after this one, then they give you another job. I'm not sure if it's always in Dawnstar, but um, hopefully not on this occasion. I would rather somewhere closer. Right, I'll take care of it. Excellent. Show them no mercy. Cool. By That's the way, if you're looking for something to do. It's really strange that that would be the first job that they give you, though. Going to um, kill vampires. Because... You're only a whelp to them, and if you're fighting vampires, there's a chance that you'll get vampirism. It's very strange. Very strange first job to give someone. Anyway, right, I think now, next on our list is, I think Dragon Reach. I think Dragon Reach is the next place to go. So, uh, off we go. Um, I might visit, I'm actually going to visit the prison first of all, though, just because, um... I've got, uh, I've got that clue, right? Uh, I've got to look for clues uh, regarding Emshra or whatever her name was. So uh, we're going to look into that first before I go actually inside Dragon's Reach. Because this is glitched for me before. Um, this is actually uh, glitched out and I couldn't make any progress with it. So hopefully if I go here now early and do it right away, hopefully uh, that'll work. Also, I think there's something to do in the Hall of the Dead, right? Right. Here we are. Ah! Okay, so there's a note. M. Shiraz Confession. Um, M. Shiraz enjoyed her fight with the guard, plus her new home is better than the last. Uh, it is a very tiny cage, but she does not beg for food. It is given. Still, M. Shiraz longs to see the night sky when she was a kitten. The elders warned her that if she stayed too long at the moons, they would grow shy. 
and M. Shura would never see them again. That's interesting, based on uh, what actually happened with the moons. Because M. Shura, the person uh, who wrote these, uh, these letters, is a Khajiit. And uh, I mentioned earlier how important the uh, moons are to the Khajiit. And they did disappear for a time as well, so that's interesting. Uh, this made her sad, and M. Shura vowed to stop looking at the sky, and kept her head down towards the dirt where the beggars belonged. Uh, one day, she tried to steal the silver out of pockets of a Nord named T uh, Tira. When she heard Khajiit's story, she took pity on the kitten and told her that the moons were not uh, the timid creatures she had believed. She said that as long as Khajiit held her head up high, they would shine brighter than any star. From that day on, she spent her life in service to the Crimson Dirks. And when uh, she was ready, her new litter mates forged her an armor made of silver. And in its heart, uh, the piece Tyra had in her pocket so many moons ago. Uh, Emshara hid the armor in a hut northwest of Rorikstead. At times, Emshara had longed to retrieve it and wear it proudly. But she must be careful not to let settlement, uh, sentiment cloud her judgment. Emshara suspects she is being followed, so she will leave the armor for another. Besides... It is not the silver in the armor or the moonlight in the sky that Emshara treasures, but the friends she has lost, perhaps in death, she will see them again. Oh, that's really sad. That's really, really sad. Okay. Um, before I go into Dragon's Reach as well, I'm really gonna, I'm really quickly going to step into um, the Hall of the Dead. Because uh, I almost forgot there is something to do there. The guy wants you to retrieve his amulet for him. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to pop in there real quick. Uh, and get that amulet because um, I may as well. I don't actually have one yet. Uh, I think it's an amulet of RK, if I'm not mistaken. And I can't remember what that does exactly, but we'll go and pick that up. Uh, the quests are random. After a certain amount of jobs, they say Skior wants to talk. Uh, will she become Wolf Boy? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, the last, uh, the last, like I think it was like the second quest they gave me the, when I was playing as my last character. The guy's not here. Why isn't the guy here? Alright, forget it. I guess we come back here later for that. Um, but yeah, the, la the second one that they gave to me, they sent me all the way to Dawnstar. And um, that's too far, too far away. I'm hoping that um, when we... Um, the more, more quests that we get with them, they're just going to send me to local places or, or places that aren't too far away. Because we're, um, we're on survival, I'm not allowed to fast travel. So, um, the, the le less distance I have to travel, the better, really. Basically. So, hopefully, I won't get sent too far away. Right. Talk to the Yarl. Hello. Not even cats. Uh, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Cool. Uh, you there. Oh! So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Uh, yes, I had a great view. What? No, let's not, let's not say that. Uh, the dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw it was heading this way. Yes, let's go with that. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Jarl of Falkirk will in the mountains. view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. No, wait. That I need to speak to you. Best. Dang it. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this <gasps> as a. He gave me steel armor. He actually gave me something useful. There is. He gave me steel armor. Do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents. Come, let's go find Faringar. My court can I can I speak to you? Can I speak to you, steward, first? I've got something for him. Rumors of dragons. 
Cool. Uh, yeah, let me go and speak to... Uh, don't, don't, don't go too far, mate. Where's he gone? You there, stop! Hold it! The Jarl is I have a sword for you from your daughter. Busy. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to Goop, purpose. gotta go. Bye. Uh, have a good day, tomorrow. everyone. It's you too, Goop. Is. Thanks for uh, coming to hang out today. Thank you. And uh, you have Please. a good day as well. Take these few coins. I'll uh, catch up with ready. you very soon, Goop. Uh, cool. You give me twenty gold for that. How much is Breeze home? Oh, he doesn't tell me yet because I'm not insane. That's fine. Pardon me as well. I'm burpy baby right now. You there. I've come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. The Yarl said you had a project you needed to help with. Ah, indeed? The Yarl? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the Dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Uh, all right, where am I going? Um, what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, do you mean this old stone? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual roots the Jarl foists on me. Um, I got you the dragon stone. What next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Cool. Right, before anything it happens. This damnable conflict has claimed their um, of late. Me? What are the duties of a court wizard? I'll put it simply so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. No, that's not what I wanted. Um, are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. There we go, that's what Speaking I wanted. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Cool, I'll deliver the frost salts for you. Good, you're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. This guy's a dick. Anyway, right, uh, I need to use this as well. Uh, disenchant uh, this. Hold on, wait. Yeah. There we go, enchanting up. Nice, you, nice, you. And uh, before I forget as well, uh, let's put on that steel armor because that's going to be a lot better. That's warm as well. <coughs> I'm surprised. That's really warm. Cool. How's it look? I take this a bit more nice. Okay. We're going to be a little bit more badass these, uh, at this point. No, we can stop it. <coughs> Let's go. Uh, Banana. Hey, Mecca. I'm going to go as well. Have a nice evening. You too, Banana. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming to hang out today. And, uh, happy Big Monday to you. So, your left tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. <coughs> what did it do? Excuse me, sorry. Is it attacking the watchtower. No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irlet. I like your yeah, ball graph. He's cool. Get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Fair enough. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Cool. You survived Helgen. 
so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, cool. I have instructed Amanichi <coughs> that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this. Oh, give, give me something useful life. again, dude. Excuse me a second. I would very much like to see this. Sorry. Ah, that's better. Right, what did he just give me? I think he's giving me something good again. Ah, shit. Uh, that's not as good as... Alright, fine. I'll, I'll break that down at the enchanting table now. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just uh, get the enchantment off this. Hopefully our enchanting will level again off of doing that. It's not that I'm ungrateful, Balgruff. It's just it's not very useful. There it goes. Okay, cool. We're approaching uh, level again. That's nice. What I really need to do is get my uh, heavy armor up though, right? Right. Okay, she's on her way. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn these fire salts in before um, we follow her. Uh, because Arcadia will let us pick up a bunch of stuff from uh, her shop after doing that. That'll be um, that'll be classed as a uh, her um, us helping her, um, so she'll like us and she'll let let us take a, a bunch of stuff up to a certain value. Hopefully she's open. What time is it? Shit, she's not gonna be open. I might have to do that when we come back from fighting the dragon then. Shit, how am I gonna fight this dragon? <laughs> All I can do is punch it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, It'll land. It'll land. Right, she's she's locked. Okay. Oh, I can take this for free now, though, right? Oh, I haven't. All oh, right, I haven't turned it in. And spoken to her. That's fine. When he, when we get back, hopefully it'll be daytime. Cause then we can. Uh, then we can uh, we can get a bunch of stuff for free. Do I have to wait for these guys, or can I just leave? Oh, we may as well hear what she has to say. It's like I'd just be like, what? That's funny. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking White Run. No lollygagging. <laughs> no Dude, I'm getting debriefed here about the dragon attack. Screw you. Why have these guys got hide helmets on? Why haven't they all got these matching guard helmets? I think the guard helmets are classed as heavy armor as well, but they're only light armor. I like her less. She's cool. She's cool. Alright, let's head out then. Okay, let's go and slay our first dragon. This incidentally as well is um, after you've killed this dragon, that's when they can start just appearing randomly at any point then. But uh, until until you do this very quest and kill this very dragon, they uh, they won't show up. They won't show up at all. No matter how much you progress any other part of the game, um, obviously you can't uh, progress the main quest line because uh, this is part of the main quest line. But uh, if you you could go and do whatever you want in the world, but until you've beaten this dragon. Uh, then dragons won't appear randomly until uh, until you do this point in the, in the main quest. Ooh, lots of butterflies around here. Give me, give me that. Come here, you. Come here, butterfly. There we go. Um, something's wrong with me right now. 
I'm peckish. Okay, that's good. I can deal with peckish. Well fed. There we go. <gasps> Dang. Run away. I wanted it for his venison. Uh, where are these guys? Where are... Are they... Way behind... Oh, here, here they come. Give me these butterflies, though. I should have gone for the yellow one. The yellow one's more uh, more useful. There we go. And I can see another one somewhere. I saw one. Where'd it go? There was definitely another one over here. Oh, well. Forget about that for now. Let's go uh, kill us a dragon, I guess. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a specific shout, right, to deal with dragons. Something that'll knock it down to the ground. Otherwise dragons are gonna be a right pain in the butt. I'd have to wait for it to land and then punch it. Yeah, so all I need is my fists. This dragon's gonna get punched in the face. Stupid dragon. That dude's got a big sword. It doesn't even really look like he can hold it that well. <laughs> cool. Let's go in here. Uh, I don't think there's anything to collect around here. Do I need to go right up to the top? Maybe I... Oh, nope. Here it comes. Here it be. Right, shoot it down so I can punch it in the face. Please. Come down here, dragon. You want to throw hands, dragon? I'll throw hands. Get your butt down here. Ah. He has landed. Fuck you, dragon. Punched in the face. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing to it. Um, alright. Fine. Uh, minor healing. That's all I've got healing wise, unfortunately. Uh, use the potion of the night. Let's get that going. Uh, restore 17 points of health. Oh shit. That's no good to me. I need to sell that. That's got a negative effect on it. Uh, have we got anything to resist fire? I don't. Conjurer's potion I don't need either. I should have sold that. Right, food. Uh, don't he eat the hot stuff. Eat this uh, venison stew. Yeah. And then... Punch it in the face! Punch the stupid dragon in the face! Oh god, oh god. Um, I'm dying, I'm dying. I'm very dying. Is that all I've got? Oh my god. Okay, okay, alright, alright. Shit, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Okay. I've done like no damage to this thing either. Oh god, alright. Uh, I might <laughs> use healing. I got, I've got like no potions left. Oh dear, oh dear. If I get up close to him, he kicks my butt. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Um, I know we said. I know we said not in fights. <laughs> I've got no choice. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I really don't have a choice though. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh, I've run out of magic. Well, that went well. That went well. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um. Alright, okay. Fine. Uh, I don't know. Don't really know what we're gonna do about it. It's that fire. That fire is kicking my ass. Um, I guess I'm gonna, I guess I just have to be like careful with um, when I strike against it and hope that the soldiers do a lot of the work. Maybe I should have brought a companion. 
I don't really have one yet, though. I could get one, but it'd cost money. And, uh, I've already spent way too much money, as it is. Shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> Alright, okay, this is tough. This is tough. How are we going to beat this dragon up? Irolith, you're going to have to do all the heavy lifting, okay? You slay the dragon, and I'll punch it in the face every now and then. But you're going to have to take all the aggro, so I can punch it in the face from behind, bravely. Good grief. Alright. Alright. It's doable, I guess, right? It could be doable. Also, I lost all those butterflies. No. Oh well, it's not. Uh, it's not a big deal. Hmm. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Cool. Out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay, right. I'm going to run uh, right inside. Then I'm going to run to the top. And then, um, I don't know. I'm going to, like, hope that maybe... That maybe the guards can do quite a bit of damage in the meantime. While I'm inside here. I don't even have any, uh, like, shouts or anything I could do right now, either. I think he came from that direction. Why isn't he appearing? Oh. He's here. Where he be? Where he be? I don't know where he is. Where he is. Uh, guards? Oh, I'm peckish as well, right? I forgot about that. Let's eat uh, cooked beef. Well fed, there we go. Alright, you guys... Uh, dude, you're not gonna really... That's not gonna help. You can't shoot through... You are the worst guard. You are the worst. Right, it's over there. I'm not going to it. It can come to me. Oh, maybe I can use this wall to my advantage. Oh, he's flying. He's flying. Right, they've done. They've done a bit of good work. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Right, eat some. Uh, eat some venison. Uh, venison stew this time. It did not really do much. Um, Alright, just for now. Here we go. Oh, ho! Oh, he instantly targets me as soon as I, as soon as he sees me. Alright, this is fine. God's oh god, oh god. He's gonna breathe fire at me. Straight, see, straight away. Straight away, he goes for me. Alright, let's get in there. I'm on fire. Fuck you, dragon. That's right, you're nothing without your fire, are you? Fuck you, mate. Hard attack. I wonder what the kill animation is on dragons when you're unarmed. If there is one. There we go. Right, I would, uh, I would really like to be able to pick up his materials, though, because uh, I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be heavy smithing, right? So, shit, they're worth fifteen a pop, and they're worth ten. That's what. That's a lot of weight. I can take them all, though. Just about, just about. 
fear boots I don't want or any of that. That's fine. <coughs> Dragon Meow. Dragonborn was born. Or the Dragon Meow was born. You shout section of the magic menu to equip your unrelenting force. Okay, so shouts. I somehow know it know it already. The game kind of like unlocks it for you automatically. But I'm gonna favorite it, of course, and uh, we're gonna equip it as well. Uh, use your new shout power. Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and slay Now, there's a line here which really, like, takes me out of the immersion when you're not playing a Nord. And the game, the game makes it... The game has a few occasions like that, and the general storyline and things. Now, I'm, I know Dragonborns aren't, like... Um, they aren't exclusive to the Nordic race. But, um, I don't know, the quests in Skyrim, certainly the main quest line, the Civil War quest line, um, they, make, they make it feel a lot more personal to Nords, because obviously Skyrim is the province of the Nords. And there's a line in this bit of the game, which is one of the specific uh, examples that I can give, is just why... why I, I, a majority of my playthroughs of this game have been as a Nord, and why it feels... Why it just feels more uh, natural, uh, story-wise, immersion-wise, and role-playing-wise, to play this game as a Nord. Uh, I don't know what happened to me. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Listen to what one of the guards will say to Irela. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal the power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerle? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerle. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. And there it is. That one little line there, it's just little things like that, that t like, it really doesn't, I mean, we've, we've, uh, we've played other characters other than Nords on stream now, but, um, to me, it always just feels much more personal and much more, uh, much more crafted for a Nordic character, and, um, I find it a lot easier to roleplay as a Nord, you know, but, uh, anyway, with that done, um, if you're not playing on survival, by the way, um, I recommend traveling to White Run on foot at this point. Uh, I can't fast travel anyway, but um, you you want to travel to White Run on foot if you are, even if you aren't playing on um, on survival and you are able to fast travel, because uh, this bit does uh, it doesn't really um, play out how the game wants it to if you don't walk towards White Run. You'll get there, and you'll still be able to talk to Balgruff, but it won't make as much sense because you won't see this happen unless you walk to White Run on this on this particular point of the game. Purr with great force. <laughs> Thanks, Lizard. I uh, fuss me out. There we are. Uh, at that point, you hear the Greybeards call you. Uh, they just said Dover Keen, and you'll completely miss that if you fast travel. And um, it just, uh, again, it just breaks, uh, I'm going the wrong way, I passed the entrance already. It just breaks the, um, the conversation you're about to have with Bolgraf as well. It won't make as much sense because you won't hear that call. Uh, but yeah. That's why I recommend, even if you can fast travel in your game, if you're not playing on survival, uh, walk to Whiterun from that dragon fight. 
Only until only until they call you. You can fast travel after that. But uh, yeah, you don't, you don't want to miss that. Otherwise, it just makes the next part of the game a little bit weird. You know? I'm already out of stamina as well, just by sprinting to here. I really got to sort that out. I need much more stamina. Uh, injured li uh, Ascendant Lizard. To be fair, all the guards are Nords. More of their speaking for their group of them. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But there is um, just a lot of the game in general. Uh, just feel It feels more tailored and more personal to like a Nord character. Maybe it's just me, you know. Um, because we've we've quite successfully since um, jumping over to console from PC, we've quite successfully role played as both uh, well as a dark elf as well, and now we're we're going to be doing uh, the same for a Khajiit. So it's not impossible, but um, I always just used to feel feel like uh, playing anything other than a Nord was a little weird. Uh, who are you looking for? A woman, a foreigner in these lands, Redguard like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Uh, who are you looking for again? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. Cool. Alright, we'll deal with that um, shortly. But uh, yeah, I hope I hope going back to that um, same topic again. I hope that there's something that Bethesda sort out for Elder Scrolls Six. I hope they make it so that you know it's very vague, um, the quest line, uh, whatever it may be, uh, and the world threat, so that it doesn't feel out of place if you do play as any race. Uh, a lot like how Oblivion did it. Oblivion was very neutral. Uh, a very neutral, I should say, sorry. Even though it was based in Cyrodiil, uh, it didn't feel weird not playing as an Imperial, you know. Um, it felt very natural to play any uh, race that you wanted. Uh, but back in Oblivion as well, race, uh, race stats and race abilities were much, much more important. So um, the, ra the race that you picked at the beginning of the game would very much tie in with the type of build that you wanted to play as as well. Um, you know, they were like, if you were min-maxing, um, you would want to pick a specific race for whatever playstyle you were going for. Um, I kind of hope they go back to that as well, to be honest with you, and bring back a lot more skills. You know, bring back acrobatics, I miss acrobatics. Uh, bring back mysticism into uh, uh, the magic, uh, magic groupings. Um, I, ho I hope they do that with uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Uh, Mikhail won't be bothering you anymore. Really? I beat up that. Uh, was it Spoony Bird? <laughs> I beat up that Spoony Bird. Thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Ooh, coin! I like coin. Should you give me two fifty coin? Thank you very much. Now I can take your stuff as well, right? I want your leaks. Give me those leaks. I, I gotta be careful though. I'm nearly at weight capacity. So I, for now, I'll only take the leaks. I would take everything, but uh, I'm just a little concerned about my weight capacity. Uh, I also need to go and see Arcadia as well. <laughs> Sorry. I have some frost salts for you from Farangar. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. A love elixir. What? Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Does Arcadia have a thing for Faringar? These potions. Is that what's price. going on here? Anyway, have you stocked up on fire salts? Take a look. Also, I got a potion to sell to you, which I missed initially. I think I might have two actually. Yeah, get rid of that, because um, that's got a negative effect on it. Also, I. Because I'm still, I'm still half in the brain set of my last character. I was like, oh yeah, I'll keep the Conjurer's Potion. Because I used a lot of Conjuration. I don't need that. I'm not going to be using it. Right. Um, do you have a restock of Fire Salts? Please. Please, you don't. You don't. Dang. Never mind. Okay. Let's go. Farewell. Right. Also, I forgot to check with Farangar whether or not he's selling Soul Trap. Because if he's selling Soul Trap, I'll buy it.
I run out of stamina so quickly. I know I've been saying that a lot, but it's true. It's really frustrating how quickly it runs out. Right, Firingar. Please say you've got Soul Trap. In fact, I completely forgot to check any of his spells. Uh, bound Battle Axe, Bound Sword. What's that? Ooh. Creatures and people up to level 9 won't fight for 30 seconds. Do I want that? I'm complete. I'm a complete noob when it comes to illusion. Do I want this? Uh, some of these spells? Candlelight. Oh, that's alteration anyway. Destruction. What's this? Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance I don't want. I'm not interested in that. It's rubbish. Uh, courage. Yeah, do I, do I? That doesn't sound... That sounds like it's more for companions. Right? Or like um, your summons, for example. Elemental Bolt. Oh, Elemental Bolt. You were my go-to on my last character. Um, fear. I'm going to go... No, I got Fury, right? I've already got Fury. Creatures and people up to level 9 flee from combat for 30 seconds. Yeah, I got Fury. Oh, is he not got... Ooh, Muffle. Muffle I want. I'm actually going to buy Muffle. That's something I do want. So I'm going to buy that. Soul Trap. There it is. I was worried. I was getting worried that he might not have it. Oh my god, I'm spending so much money. I'm spending so much money. Right, that'll do for now. Because I definitely need both of them. Uh, quite urgently, in fact. Muffle Soul Trap. Right, go and favorite both of them. I want them in both in my uh, rotation. Did that... I thought I didn't favorite for a second. Alright, cool. Whatever, Farangar. My all! So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Uh, the Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Knew I could count on your uh, excuse me? Standing right here. Uh, turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? Uh, when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. Oh, that's just what the men called me. Let's say that. Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same thing. The Greybeards? Of the way of the we're gonna um, we're gonna not act like we uh, know about like um, things like the gray beards uh, because we're we're playing as a Khajiit. We're not really uh, accustomed to Skyrim uh, and uh, its uh, its various uh, you know uh, factions and, and things like that. Uh, we're gonna uh, role play as if we're just like uh, a Khajiit. Who is obviously on board with the Empire and the Old Mary Dominion. Um, but when it comes to like Nordic things like Greybeards, I'm not going to be like, oh, what do the Greybeards want with me? Because I'll, it'll be make more sense for him to be like, who are the Greybeards? Because, you know, of uh, the character that we're playing. But what do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice, the ability to focus your vital essence into a thule. Or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards summoning you to High Rothgar. Oh my god. Oh, the thought of high, traveling up and down those flipping steps back and forth to High Hrothgar. Oh, dude. How many times did we end up going back and forth there when we played the main story with the Nord that we played as? Like, eight times? Eight times up and down both ways? It's so... Oh, my goodness. What's wrong with the sound as well? Have you noticed that? I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these greybeards want with him? That's the greybeards' business, not ours. 
Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. That I'm a cat? Heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? I prefer dragon meow. Get up to high immediately. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll be going up there immediately. And they're going to be honest with you, y'all, Bolgraf. I know we're homies now, but oh my god, I'm dreading going up there. You get a cool buff though, I guess. You get that buff where animals don't attack you. And also, you need to go up there to get um, the full uh, Fusra Da and Whirlwind Sprint as well. So we're not going to put it off for too long. We will go up there eventually. I've got priorities before we go up to High Hrothgar though. We've got to prioritize uh, companions. And once we've done the companions then we'll um, try and head over to uh, do the uh, Dawnguard uh, DLC. Oh, I'm, I'm Yal. Uh, Yal. I'm Thane now. Cool. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Weapon? Weapons are no good to me. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. Oh shit, I'm overencumbered. Brilliant. What weapon did he give me, by the way? I can give this straight to Lydia if I uh, get her to follow me. Axe of White Run. Blimey heck. Right. Let's go and uh, let's go and pick up Lydia and give her this axe immediately. I was hoping that it might be a one-handed weapon at least, because then I can equip uh, Lydia with um, a one-handed weapon and a shield. Oh, that's fine. I guess she'll have to be two-handed build. God, this is going to take. Crawl into her, Lydia. Lydia, help me, Lydia. Hello. The Jarl has appointed me to be Follow me. Carl. Lead the way. Right, okay. Um I need to trade some things with you. I am sworn to carry Right, while purpose. I've got you there, take that. Um if I need you to as well, I might need you to carry uh some we really know. heavy dragon bone and scales at some point as well, Lydia. But not right now. Right, okay. I'm gonna go and uh, get some what might what effect am I under right now? Uh, I'm drained, so I'm gonna need to sleep at some point. Uh, let's eat some salmon steak. Well fed, excellent. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I need to sleep. Um, I'm gonna go and finally smith these uh, steel ingots that I've got. Uh, hopefully, I can make um, make a piece of armor maybe that'll go with uh, this steel uh, chest plate that I, I picked up. Also, are all my uh, all my quests active? They are indeed. You're someone who can get things done. Because now I can steal Smith because um, I hold up. Got some good Everything needs iron ingots anyway. What? How many um, steel ingots have I got? I've got five. So theoretically, I could make... I'll tell you what. Right. What we're going to do, I'm going to, first of all, improve this. Hold on, if I take that off. Oh, it didn't increase the warmth either uh, as well. So that's fine. Uh, that makes sense. Right, let's make that fine. Um, I want, I want uh, maybe gauntlets. <gasps> Why is it called Brawler Steel Gauntlets? What do I need for that? I need an iron ingot. Okay, and I got two steel left. Um, so maybe if I get... Two iron ingots and a leather strap. I can make myself brawler steel gauntlets 
and a horn steel helm. I'm going to do that. And I might buy a steel ingot as well, just so, or, or two steel bothered? ingots, just so I can, um, just so I can improve their their quality. Right. Um, have you got what I need though? I need what did I need? Two iron, right? Uh, give me two of those. Give me two of those. Um, one leather strip. And two steel ingots. Oh, we're in good shape then. I'm just really conscious of how easily that dragon was killing me. I know it was because of fire. But still, do you know what I mean? Right. Steel. Uh, brawler. Yes. Give me that. And uh, horned steel helmet. What's the difference? Nothing is... Oh, I guess it's just a uh, cosmetic difference, right? I do want horns, though. Horns are cool. It'd be nice if I could have um, a full set, but it's fine. Right, let's do that. Okay. And then... Uh, what? Oh, shit. Okay. That's I'm probably really, really over-encumbered right now. Right, fine and fine how are they for warmth though compared to the iron right where's my iron helmet first of all warmth 18 or are oh, they much better they're much better in terms of warmth as well okay cool uh what about my um my gauntlets iron gauntlets warm 13 Oh, they're, all, they're just better. This is far superior in every way, right? Um, I can sell a bunch of stuff now as well. How do we look? Oh, now now we look cool. Now we're looking cool, right? Um, how did you end up behind me? I helped my father. Take a look. Right, sell to you all of my old stuff. Uh, buy that. And that. And that. Okay, we made a little money back anyway. Made a little bit of money back. Okay, cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're getting mighty. Or mightier, I should say. And that do look pretty, do look pretty cool. <laughs> I look like a, a horned cat. <laughs> Sp a very spiky horned cat. How do these are? Oh, look at that. I wonder if they give you any bonus to um, fisty cuffs. Right, I need to sleep, right? I can sleep for free in um, Yorviska, though. Oh, and while I'm at it as well, I probably got a bunch of uh, carry weight. So let's pick up what we can at the market. And just uh, open up a bunch of uh, spare carry weight there. Uh, give me your garlic as well. She'll let you take all of this as soon as you beat up that guy for her. It's like that with most um, with most uh, vendors or, or shops around Skyrim. They'll usually have a little task for you to do for them, and as soon as you've done it, then uh, they'll let you take stuff. Right, okay, cool. Right, I'm going to have a little nap in your visca, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a little chat about what we uh, what we'll plan to do next. Because uh, I'm drained right now. Just survival things. And my brother has his smarts. That's a really good sword on the wall there, you know, it's, Dw it's Dwemer. I don't think it's interactable though, it's probably just for show. What are you doing here? Right, where was, um, it was down here, right? This is where the living quarters were? Or were they? Nope, it's not down here. So I came from... Maybe down here? Ah, here we are. Can I sleep here? Oh, I can. Nice you. Right, let's get our seven hours in. I'll probably be hungry when I wake up. Then uh, what we'll do, we'll talk about our next move then. We'll have a look at all the quests we've picked up in Whiterun. And uh, what our plan is going to be moving forward. I think uh, I think we got rid of everything that we could as well. So, apart from, uh, the dragon bone and dragon scales are the, really the problem. Is what's going to be weighing me down. I need somewhere to store them as soon as I can... Uh, afford a house but I can't afford a house just yet unfortunately yeah we're good for everything else right 
Okay, so, map. Um, from here, I guess. Oh, shit, I haven't read any of my bounties. I better do that now. Books, right. Um, bounty. Is that even... Bounty. Cool. Bounty. Uh... Cool. This one? I think that's it. Okay, let's activate all of those. Just one? Okay, fine. Cool. Um, right, I'm going to leave here a second. Just so, uh, just so we're not in an enclosed space. And that the uh, quest uh, markers won't be all messed up. So if we leave real quickly, we'll be able to see where our destinations are better. Right, here we are, back outside in Whiterun. Let's have a look-see. So, from here... Oh yeah, I can do that as well. I guess that'll be the next thing that we do. We'll break into uh, um, the Battleborn's uh, home and uh, get the evidence. I think what we'll do is we'll tidy up a few things around the area of Whiterun. I'm killing this bandit leader. Um, kill them there as well. Before I forget, I've actually got to go and speak to uh, someone. This is quite important. We've got to go back to the Bannered Mayor. I completely forgot to do this because uh, of all the dragon business. I'll talk to the Red Guard lady in here. Welcome. Let me know if you, want you there! Need something? Did you know some Alakia warriors are looking for a red guard woman? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. May as well get this act, uh, dealt with. Before I forget. And what we'll do next. Uh, shall, I, shall I go and break into um, that place as well and, and get the evidence? I guess I will. I guess we'll do everything that we can do in Whiterun. And then uh, we'll wrap it up after that then. Um, this isn't very private. Alfred Battleborn is right there. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's gone. I guess he ran away. He, he must have teleported away when he pulled the knife. Tell me what's going on. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Um, they just asked me to find you. You can't tell them. Please, I need your help and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. Um, maybe what you want. Mm, yeah. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. How am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. Any suggestions as to how to find them? I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Why haven't you gone to the guards for help? You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Why are the Alakir after you? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. We've covered this plenty of times. Um, this will be the third time that we've done this quest now on stream. So we've covered it in great, great detail. So I'll just mention it briefly again. Her story doesn't add up. 
And this quest in and of itself, um, it doesn't make it clear. Um, it makes it clear what um, what it makes it so you would think uh, you would know the best outcome or the mes most uh, uh, let's say paragon outcome of this quest would be. However, um, if you know more about the events of the signing of the White Gold Concordat, which happened prior to this game. And it's, it's very much um, the cause of the civil war in, in Skyrim as well. If you know more about the events of um, the lore about, uh, leading up to this game, her story doesn't add up at all. But the game makes you side with her and makes you think that she is actually uh, the better option of who to side with in this, uh, in this quest. But what she's saying there about speaking out against the Aldermary Dominion in Hammerfell, and then the Alakia being hired assassins to take her out for speaking out against the Old Mary Dominion. The Old Mary Dominion don't have much power in Hammerfell. Because um, shortly after the events of the White Gold Concordat getting uh, signed in uh, Cyrodiil, the Hammerfell actually fought off uh, the Old Mary Dominion from Hammerfell. And they're doing actually pretty well in, in uh, terms of fending them off. Um, and they actually earned their own independence again from uh, from the Empire, if I'm not mistaken. So, she's telling lies. If she were to speak out against the Old Mary Dominion in the Hammerfell, they wouldn't care, <laughs> because they've actually they've actually done a great job in fighting them off, and uh, actually fending them off as well. So she's telling a huge lie there. Um, she's actually probably betrayed Hammerfell. Uh, for the Aldermary Dominion, for whatever reason. And Kamatu and the Alakia are probably here to assassinate her for that reason. Uh, but we've covered that in great detail anyway. Both times we've done that questline, we've done it in favour of Kamatu. But it's interesting to me that the game makes you sympathise with her and makes it... Well, you would generally think that, you know, that she uh, is telling the truth there. Unless you know more about the lore leading up to this game. Kamatu actually um, comments on it as well. If you um, side with him in this quest line. He tells you not to get easily, uh, easily fooled by a pretty face. And that you're better than that. But uh, anyway. Um, where am I going? i got to break into this house now, right? Uh, which house was it though? I forget. Let me uh, consult the map. Right, it's right next to me over here. Cool. Ah, they're all going to sleep. If they're all in the house. That's going to make it harder to break into. We're doing this at the wrong time, really. You want to do this during the day. They're all going home. Um, how are our status effects? I'm peckish. I mean, I could... I could wait until daytime, and then uh, we'll we'll take a nap in the inn after that. If I wait for say nine hours, uh, good stories have good liars. True that, uh, Ascendant Lizard. They do. They really do. Okay. If I wait until now, they should all leave the house. And uh, I'll have... I'm chilly, peckish, and drained. How am I chilly? How am I chilly? I'm in, um, I'm in white run. Oh, God. I'm, I'm running out of food again already. Right, let's eat some apple pie. Let's eat two apple pies. Well fed. There we go. Cool. Right, now this house should be empty, hopefully. Uh, Lydia, wait here. I've got your... I will remain on guard here. Right, okay. We should be... Don't mind me. I'm just a cat. Minding my own business. Don't go in there. Don't don't go in. Gosh darn it. They're supposed to be leaving, not entering. Alright, let's give it a try anyway. Okay, I'm going to go around the other way. Alright, let's, uh, let's try. Oh, that's not locked. Maybe I'm allowed in here. Maybe it's not trespassing. It's definitely trespassing. Um, while I'm at here as well, I'm going to take some food. Give me that beef. 
and this venison. Venison's quite hard. Going to be hard for me to come by because I don't. Uh, I'm not allowed to use bows, so I can't just shoot elk and deer from a distance. Oh, oh! Don't mind me. I'm just a cat. I'm just a cat. I'm just a cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Attempt number one completely failed. Uh, I couldn't convince them that I'm just uh, just a house cat. Um, all right, cool. Uh, there is a point in the day where they're not in. Um, how am I going to do this? Right. Maybe if I wait another hour or two. See if they get up to... Uh, right. Oh, what's detecting me? Okay. What the hell? What is detecting me? Oh, it's you. Who are you? Oh, you're a grey main. You won't care about me breaking in here. You you don't like battleborns. Right. Hopefully hopefully that room's empty now. Hopefully. I mean the door's open, but that's probably just from where I opened it. Right, going to third person. Cool. Alright, okay, we can do this. Close the door. Um, I don't know if there's any, uh, skill books here. <laughs> I say that. Oh, and that, that, oh, it's so close to a level. So close to a level. Give me that. I'm low on, uh, I'm low on, uh, healing potions. I'll take the silver ingot as well, because I can make some jewelry out of that at some point. Um, what is this book? Cake and the diamond. I'm pretty sure. No, no it's not. It's not a skill book, unfortunately. I have to unlock this. Come on. Ah. I think Avanichi um, in uh, Dragon's Reach might have more quests for me now that I think about it. So this is that one that gives you that really good bow. I won't be using it, obviously, but... It takes you, um, it takes you all around Whiterun checking, like, um, ledges and stuff in, like, Arcadia's Cauldron. Maybe I should go and speak to Avenichi. Finally. Bloody hell. Right, that's a level up as well. Fantastic. Close the door. Right, this is what we want here. Uh, we'll take that. I'll also take your potion. Uh, silver ingots I'll, I'll take as well. What have we got in here? Red apples. They're good apples, but I'm not going to pick them up. Who just coughed? Who's home? Oh, shit. Alright, abort mesh. Abort mesh. Utilize perfect stealth and abort mesh. Right, the door's right there. Just run. Perfect stealth, first try. Okay. I am a cat, so, you know. Cats are going to be good at stealth. Lydia, follow me. As you command, my pain. And no one knows any better. Right, um, they lived here, right? So I'm going to turn this in real quick. And then we're going to have a word with Avenici. And then uh, I think we'll call it a day for then. For, uh, call it a day then. Um, right, you, my good man. Here's your proof. Do you have news? Did you find... I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. Uh, you're going to assault North Watch Keep. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't be left to whoa. Those monsters. Whoa. Listen, they are Thalm Thalmor holding your brother. Now, I know that the Aldermary Dominion and the Thalmor are very, very reasonable. So how about uh, I'll, I'll go up there, right? And I'll take care of this without bloodshed. Um, I will talk to the Aldermi uh, to the Thalmor personally. And I know that they're very respectable and very reasonable. 
So uh, I will see if I can bring him back on my own without bloodshed. What? You alone reasoning with the Thalmor? That's madness, friend. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Cool. All right. Right, okay, so let's go and have a chat with Avenici finally then, um, up in Dragon's Reach, and um, see if uh, see if he has something for us to do. So I, I suspect that that will actually um, activate that guy in the uh, Hall of the Dead as well who wants his amulet. So I believe it takes you down there. Um, what it is is some sort of assassination plot on the Yarl. So if we start that now, uh, it takes you to Arcadia's Cauldron to check. Um, who, who's purchased uh, potions from there and various other things as well. So, uh, Avenici, I'm sure I get it from you anyway. It was added uh, later on. I think it's like a... Uh, I think it's like a, a, a creation club thing. Um, oh, it's 5,000 gold for uh, Breeze Home. That's good to know. All right. Is there anything you need from me? Of course. It's all in this note. Cool. There we go, in the shadows. This gives you the Bow of Shadows, which isn't something that I'll be using, but if you are planning on using a bow, it is a very, very, very good bow. Uh, read the steward's note. That's what I was meant to do. Um, steward's note. Okay. I uh, apologize for the secrecy, but I'd rather not speak about this in front of the Jarl. In the event of, informa uh, of the information I've received is incredible. He has enough on his plate as it is. Uh, you see, earlier this week, I received a tip from an un uh, unnamed source regarding a potential assassination plot on the Jarl. Now, while we, all, uh, while we take all threats seriously, it's difficult to know just how credible this source is. And with everything that's happened as of late, I don't think... Uh, I have time to investigate this myself. That's why I'd like you to head to Arcadia's Cauldron and check their ledger of any suspicious purchases, in particular um, poisons. I've asked Arcadia to leave you a copy on her counter. Look it over, find out who purchased bottles over the last few days, and confirm their reasons are legitimate. In the meantime, I'll have our cooks check every piece of food, bottle of mead, and leftover breadcrumb, just to be sure nothing is tainted. If your investigation turns up nothing, then I'll know the information I receive is false. And the Yarl is safe for the time being. If not, I hope someone of your reputation can take care of the situation swiftly. Okay. So, there we are. Um, right. We won't do that right now, though. Um, how am I... Right, I'm drained. So, what we'll do... We'll go back to your Veska. Uh, grab, uh, grab seven hours sleep. And then uh, we'll uh, decide what we're going to do next time before we uh, we end things for the day then, I think. But uh, we've uh, had a nice little start to our new character today. Made uh, quite a lot of progress. We're starting to tidy up everything in Whiterun quite nicely. Uh, we got our foot in the door in the Companions as well. We started things off there. Hopefully, um, when I start doing work for them before I hit their quest line proper... Hopefully they don't send me too far around Skyrim, uh, because obviously uh, we can't uh, we can't fast travel. Did I level as well? I think I leveled, right? That means from sleeping now I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to level. If that's the case. Awesome. Right. Okay. Let's put it in. What's boosting my stamina right now? I'm not even sure. Maybe food? Let's put it in stamina. I was going to go for health, but that's not my true stamina because it's been buffed. Uh, it's been buffed by something that I don't know what. Um, right, okay. Oh, I can get Fist of Steel. Oh, no, wait, my heavy arms... To I read that wrong. I thought it was 40, but I read it back to front. My bad. Um, I can't get anything, like, hugely important yet. Um, heavy armor and smithing are the most important things. I could go for illusion, I guess.
Hmm. Okay, we could do that. Um, where else should we look into spec into? Sneak? Sneak would be uh, a good thing to do. Sneak's been going up quite fast as well. I wish uh, I wish my sneaks my heavy uh, heavy armor skill was as high as my sneak skill. We could do that. Twenty percent harder to detect. That could be useful. The other uh, the other option would be alchemy. That could also be a good shout as well because um, we're dying really quickly and running out of potions really quickly as well. If my potion if my healing potions are twenty percent stronger, that could be really good as well. For future. Hmm. This is a tough decision. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold fire on illusion for now. We will. Uh, we will start specking into illusion though at some point. I need to get my enchanting up as well. I've got soul trap now, right? So we can fill soul gems. What's the most immediately helpful thing? I think maybe alchemy. Stronger health potions are going to be really, really useful. Saying that though, so is um, sneak's going to be immediately useful as well. Because I'm going to be the harder I am to detect, the be the better, really, right? And that's gone up the most out of everything. Don't tell me that's my strongest skill right now. It is as well. Sneak is actually my strongest skill. That's funny. Right, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with alchemy. I can't save this either, can I? I can't save this. Uh... Oh, I can. Oh, I can save my perk point. I thought um, I thought because of the way things work on um, on survival mode, you had to spend it there and then. Okay. All right. Well, let me have a think about that then. Let's have a think about that. Uh, before I go anywhere, though, um, let's plan our next uh, our next plan of action. Uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing in the shadows. Um, and like I said as well, we'll clean up a few things that we got dotted around. That I really want that armor set because I got a funny feeling that's a heavy armor set. So we'll go and get that. We can get... Um, form the Alakia... Oh, okay. We can form the Alakia already. And we could get a goat as well. I think we're going to have to prioritize going over here. If we get Hilda and we get a kick-ass set of armor, I think that's what we got to prioritize, right? But we'll also get this done within Whiterun as well. Okay, cool. All right, that's uh, our next goal. But like I was saying, we've made a good start on our new character. Is uh, something wrong with me? I'm peckish. Why is my vision all weird? Oh, do I not have? Oh no, I don't have. Uh, I don't have any food. Okay, I'll have to go to the inn to sort that out. We'll go and buy some uh, food at the inn. But uh, we did make a good, a good start on our new, uh, our new hero though, which is uh, an armed Khajiit boy. So uh, yeah, it's good, uh, good start, good uh, start to uh, things. Like I said, um, we're going to be prioritizing the companions on this uh, character. And uh, also then moving over to Dawn Guard as soon as we can once we've uh, once we finish the companions. The two things that I really want to show off, uh, which we haven't done before. Um, depending on our situation then with like our build, if our sneak's pretty good and uh, you know uh, we can uh, we can maybe consider doing uh, the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild as well. Uh, we'll see what the situation is is like though with uh, with our character and how well we're doing. Uh, with that, but anyway, um, this will be our character moving forward now with uh, with Skyrim. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be a Khajiit who's a, a werewolf, <laughs> which is uh, kind of funny. And then uh, we'll be moving over to the Dawn Guard as well and getting uh, that DLC done because we've done one DLC before on a different character, but uh, that character was a pure mage. He wasn't really specced out very well for other parts of the game so uh we'll uh we'll we'll get some things done we've never done before which uh should be pretty cool hopefully but uh thanks to everyone who came along today as well to hang out i really do appreciate it i always say this um but um it doesn't make it any less true every time i say this okay but 
Um, thank you so much for your time. Your time means the most to me, more than anything, uh, because uh, you know you don't have all, you don't have infinite time. But it really, really, uh, I really, really appreciate that you come and spend a little bit of it with me here playing uh, uh, playing video games. So, so thank you very much for that. Um, I'm gonna try and come back tomorrow. Uh, I'm really busy this week because Pokemon's out on Friday. I'm moving Fallout to Thursday. Um, and I'll be playing Pokemon Friday. Well, I'm going to have to do another situation like I did with... Um, oh, I can't deal with that. Hang on. Let's pause that because the spinny room spins me out. But um, I'm going to have to do a similar thing to what I did with Bayonetta. When Bayonetta came out, I'm going to have to dive to my parents' house uh, and get home in time to stream because it's getting delivered there. But um, it, should go all, it should go well, fingers crossed. So uh, I'll pick that up. Dash home. Uh, we'll stream Pokemon on Friday, but I'll also stream it on Saturday, and then it'll be a re recurring thing then uh, on Switch Saturdays. We'll be playing Pokemon Violet on stream. Violet is the one I'm going to play on stream. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and come back tomorrow. Pencil it in though, because um, I'll do my best, but um, I'm going to be really busy uh, all week this week. But I'm going to try my best to pl uh, play some more Resident Evil uh, 8 Village in third person. Um, so keep your eyes peeled and your ear to the ground and uh, I'll let you know about that um, but I'm hoping to, to come back and play that um, I'm 100% going to play God of War on Wednesday and 100% going to play Fallout on Thursday 100% Pokemon Friday hopefully I get <laughs> get the game and, and get home in time and 100% going to play Pokemon on uh, Saturday as well okay but um, yeah uh, tomorrow though is penciled in okay tomorrow is penciled in but I don't play it tomorrow I promise uh, it will I will play it I will play it in sometime in the not so distant future anyway in the, in the, in the near future right um, enough of my rambling let's see who's uh, knocking about tonight shall we who's, uh, who's online oh Okay, alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to do a little ready raid to finish things out, okay? Let me set that up. I won't pull the trigger just yet. Um, we'll, say our, uh, we'll say our goodbyes proper before, uh, before I do pull the trigger. But, uh, right, did I spell that right? I did spell that right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, that's all set up, okay? Um, to do a little ready raid on uh, a friend of the channel. Uh, and an all-round good dude. Um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a little ready raid on uh, Cumin today. I think it's been a little while. He's playing Darkest Dungeon too, because of course he is. He loves that game. He's obsessed with that game. But uh, yeah, one last thank you to everyone um, from me as well. I know a few people left as well, and they can't hear it. But thanks to everyone who showed up tonight. I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. Uh, it means the world to me. And uh, until possibly tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Hopefully tomorrow, though. Hopefully tomorrow, 6 p.m. UK time. Until then, uh, take care of yourselves, okay? But take care of each other as well. I can't stress that enough, right? We've got to look out for each other as well uh, as ourselves. Especially in this crazy, crazy world that we live in right now, okay? Um, you know, look, just make sure we all look after each other, okay? But uh, thank you very much once again. I'm going to pull the trigger on this raid. Uh, hopefully that worked first time. Oh, it did. Okay, yeah. getting good at raiding again. I had that one like wobbly couple of raids where it didn't really work properly, but I think I'm back on form again now. I think I'm getting this right. But uh, anyway, before I click the raid, good night, everyone. Nostar. Peace out. Bye bye. <laughs>